Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing a word test on this She Glam powder foundation. So I actually have been reviewing this foundation in my previous video. You can check out in my description box. But this is going to be a word test on this product together with the concealer underneath it. Yes, I have their concealer as well. This is Light Magic 12 Hour Full Coverage Concealer. I really had fun doing a review on these two products previously. So yeah, this is going to be in-depth review which i will wear it for long hours so you guys will know how it looks like on my skin okay so this is she glam skin focus high coverage powder foundation okay this is in the shade acorn i love the shade it fits me so well maybe it's just a little bit darker but i think it's fine and yeah this concealer is in the shade coconut flakes i have applied moisturizer and sunscreen so i'm just gonna go ahead with their primer this is she glam primer Yes, most of them are from She Glam for this video. Let's just head on with this word test and I'm just gonna apply this thing on my face. I have a mixed feeling about this primer. It's like I like it but not really like it. It's like very very suitable for oily skin. It's very matte, not like really tacky on the skin. But if you want that tackiness feels on the skin, just apply it. A little bit more and more it's like very thin and soft almost feels like baby skin yeah that's the thing about this primer it could be great if you moisturize your skin very well and then i'm gonna use the concealer of course so yeah just cover up anything that we don't want to see this one has a great finish as well it's buildable and so easy to blend on the skin it's not drying so quick so i love that and for me, the shade is great for my skin tone. It's like I can do skin correcting as well. It's like multi-purpose, two-in-one. Correcting and concealing at the same time. Okay, now we're gonna move on with this uh, She Glam powder foundation. One thing that I wish that they could have is mirror right here. But sadly, they don't have that. But I think that's just okay. So I'm just gonna head on with this right away on the skin. Dab it with this puff and I think this puff is really really useful and helpful. I wore it in the first place and I really really like it. It doesn't have powdery finish, it's talc free. I really love this kind of finish. Dab it more. Okay, so yeah, that's how my skin looks like. Okay, let's just go ahead with this process. This is so time-saving, especially if you're in a rush. I think this is so, so helpful for you. And as I build more and more, it doesn't look too thick or cakey. It still looks nice. And please always do dabbing motion on your skin, okay? Don't just tarik like that. That's not how we do in makeup process. It is almost 9.45 in the morning. Yes, I don't have my phone right now. It's charging in the other room. So I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my face. I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Okay, this is my whole makeup and of course I don't want to apply any highlighter on the skin so I can see how better this foundation goes. Okay, see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys, so I just got back from shopping mall and now it is 12 2 minutes. Yes, it's afternoon. I didn't do any single touch up on the face and I didn't look into the mirror at all. So yeah, this is a reveal time. Okay, my skin looks pretty good. It's not like really, really oily or anything. Yep, I can see that it's getting shiny around here 
and on the nose but I think it's not like so greasy you know kind of like something that is so much oil picking through it's fine considering that the weather in Malaysia now is super hot yeah if you live in Malaysia you know it doesn't crease at all there's no creasing on the smile lines and I can see that the color of this foundation has been oxidized okay it looks a little bit darker on me but I think it's just great I don't mind about it my blush still look good on top of this foundation yeah there is no patchiness or dryness happening here everything looks great and i think the primer did its great job in making sure that this foundation stays on okay for the concealer i am happy to say that there is no crease happening under my eyes and it went so perfectly yeah i think i did put kind of thick coverage on my under eyes but yeah i don't see any crease happening here yeah i love it i love the concealer i love the powder foundation okay so just for your information if you guys are wondering what kind of lipstick that i'm wearing today i did apply two different lipstick it is spring flash lip gloss and chante sparkle kiss proof liquid matte lipstick okay so i am so happy with this coverage with this finish i will check back in a few hours more and i'll see you guys later okay it has been five hours now and this is how i look like now okay super shiny on the face and you guys can see that clearly um yeah basically all over my face is so very shiny so should i say this is good in controlling oil yes but just for a few hours and only if you're not doing things outside so much because just now i was doing work outside my house for a little while and it turns out to be like this and it's super hot today yeah this is what i get after five hours of wear test yeah at the end of the day any makeup that we use on the face will have this kind of finish but it's just that how much shine that peeking through yeah the good thing about this is that there's no creasing here or here or under my eyes it looks great but i have experienced something better than this in which the finish doesn't turns out to be so shiny on face but yeah the best that we can do is just bloat with tissue or this kind of cotton pad okay don't rub it off just dab onto your face yeah eventually it will be like this okay so how great the primer can make this foundation lasting i would say that just for a few hours if you wish to be outside like traveling or anything maybe somehow you have to do this i mean like bloat it and making sure that it is not too oily but if you're just being inside the building with the air condition it will turns out to be good and perfect so do i like it or not i like how the finish turns out in which it looks skin light on me it feels like weight on me but i'm sweating just now like sweating a lot so i can feel that i have kind of like tingling feel on my skin but yeah it doesn't remove or anything it's just that kind of shiny there are so many factors that could be the reason why especially in malaysia now we are experiencing a weather that is very very hot it's around 32 degrees celsius so yeah you can expect that we will sweat a lot so yeah day by day we are experiencing this it will be like 32 until 34 degrees celsius it is something unusual in malaysia so just don't forget your sunscreen every day to make sure that your skin is good healthy and protected from uv light okay so i guess that's all my review for all these products that i've tried yes i am having fun doing this word test for you guys so if you ask me what kind of skin type that i have i'm in normal skin type so this is how it goes on my skin and it is pretty subjective because i use my skincare beforehand so every product that we've put on our face play a role Okay, I hope this could be very very helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video with much more interesting makeup reviews or foundation wear tests. Just let me know what kind of foundation that you want me to try out next, okay? So take good care of yourself, stay safe, I'll see you guys in the next one.